Good morning, all. This is the BBC Micro Bit. So, what is the Micro Bit, and why is it so special? Well, it's a small single board computer with a couple of processors on there, a compass, accelerator, and on the other side, a couple of switches A and B, and 25 red LEDs. And what's so special about it? Well, every single 11-year-old child in the whole of the United Kingdom is getting one of these things free of charge. So the real idea here is to get kids programming, to turn the UK into a nation of programmers. So here's my BBC Microbit Quick Start Guide for Teachers. So this talks about the Make It Digital initiative, a UK-wide initiative to inspire a new generation to get creative with coding, programming and digital technology. And here the BBC Microbit initiative. The BBC has collaborated with over 25 organisations to create the BBC Microbit, a personal programmable device, which will be provided free of charge to every child in Year 7 across the UK. Now, I just want to say a quick thanks to uh, David Watts, YouTuber, who put out a video on the BBC Microbit uh, a short while ago. After David put out his BBC Microbit video, I was so insanely jealous that I got in touch with David and I said, who's your contact at the BBC? And he was very kind enough to tell me. And a BBC Microbit duly arrived with a battery box and some batteries in it and some other bits, wires and connectors and things. So, should we power this thing up and see what it does? So, this is the 3 volt battery connector. Um, so, I'm going to connect the battery in there. But when I do, I'm going to turn it around because all the fun happens on the reverse side. So, let's plug it in. And the LEDs start flashing like crazy. Should have kept the blinds down, really, shouldn't I? And it says, hello. Now it wants me to press the A button on the left, which I'll do, but I'm just going to put the blinds down so that the uh, LEDs are a bit brighter. Okay, so press button A. Happy with that. Press button B. It's happy with that. What do we get next? Shake. Shake. Quite sure what's happening there, but it's responding to me shaking. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps a bit more vigorous shake. That seems to have done it. Chase the dot. So I think now I'm tipping the board so that the dot moves around and I have to get it to touch the other dot so I need to tip it that way. That's done it. What's next? Great! Now get coding! And then I think it just sits there making this pretty pattern for the remainder of the time. Now, if you're thinking that this is only relevant to uh, people who live in the UK and who have 11-year-old children, well, that's not the case anymore. Uh, a Google News search for Microbit reveals that the Microbit computer becomes a commercial product. And that has only happened in the last few days. Uh, the BBC Microbit goes on sale for £13. So now... Everyone can get one. And in a Google Shopping search for the micro bit, well, we've got Maplin Electronics, uh, Pimoroni, Rapid Electronics, and even eBay are there. And on YouTube, there's lots going on with the BBC micro bit. Uh, Kitronic are there who sell the micro bit and accessories. Uh, Geek Girl Diaries, Carrie Ann, she's doing uh, tutorials on the BBC micro bit. They're definitely worth a watch. Yes, the BBC Microbit, there's a lot going on. Now, my Microbit is still flashing this wonderful sequence of uh, 
hearts and funny shapes, but it doesn't appear to be responding to buttons anymore or responding to the accelerometer. So really, I should start programming at this point. But I'm going to leave that for a future video or a future set of videos because there's lots of different ways to program this. What I was particularly interested in was the Bluetooth angle. There's a Bluetooth uh, processor here. This is the uh, Nordic Semiconductors NRF51822. Just about visible up there is the Bluetooth antenna at the top of the board. So you'd think that this would talk to apps on phones and tablets. And in fact, that those apps could be used as a front end for this device, as a user interface. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take a look at what apps are available. Now, I'm on Android, so I'm looking at uh, the Google Play Store, and there doesn't seem to be that much. There's the Microbit app uh, by Samsung Electronics, and then this this accelerometer demo by Evo Things, and that's really it. And uh, the Samsung Microbit app, which I have installed on my phone, is only compatible with some of my devices, and it won't work on my Sony tablet. So let's run up the... Uh, microbit app which is this one here and see what that does hello now i don't know whether that's currently paired with my device let's find out in connections don't appear to have that there so i'm going to pair a new microbit device how to pair your microbit uh, you press A and B and hold them, and then you press reset. So reset is there. Press A and B together and reset. And that now says pairing. Okay, next. Now it puts up a pattern of dots, which I have to copy. This is all part of the security, I suppose. Uh, okay, so that's the pattern of dots. Next, when asked, press button A and enter your PIN. I don't know what that means. Perhaps I'll just press it. No, that's not happening. I don't know what it means by when asked. Perhaps I'll just press pair. Ah, maybe it's talking to it now. Open your notification drawer and enter your PIN. You only have 30 seconds. Ah, now it's telling me to press button A. Zero, six, nine, nine, five, four. Zero, six, nine, nine, five, four. Zero, six, nine, nine, five, four. Okay. Is that gonna work? Ah, I have a tick on there. So yes, it appears I have successfully paired my microbit. Okay. But now what can I do? Let's go back to the menu. I can flash. Now there's a selfie remote sample, a music remote sample, and a find my phone sample, but that appears to be all there is in terms of samples. Otherwise, it's create code, and then it takes you to... Uh, the Microbit Co UK website, and you can create code on your phone um, and then download it or transfer it to the Microbit without using a computer. And that's really what this is for. I thought it was going to give me more sort of front end control of this device, but that doesn't seem to be quite what it is. It appears to be perhaps for children who don't have a PC at home, they can create code on their phone and get the Microbit to do at least something. Well, okay, let's try this other app, which is the accelerometer demo. Microbit accelerometer, activate the microbit and tap start. Let's see if something happens. Yes, it does. And there indeed is data from the accelerometers. Okay, let's try uh, roll. Yeah, that seems to be uh, moving the red line. Let's try pitch. Yeah, that does seem to be moving the uh, green line. Can't see it very well. Uh, what's the other one? Yaw, I suppose, Oops. which is a rotation. 
hard to do but no that doesn't seem to be activating the blue line so what's the blue line triggered by well it's definitely triggered by shaking oh maybe it's a, a translation movement uh, up and down Well, I can't quite work out what the blue one's doing, but certainly I've got um, roll and pitch. Yeah, that seems to work. I mean, it's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. But this is interesting down here. Make your own microbit app. I might follow that up. Now, I can't finish without mentioning coding. So I've gone to the uh, microbit website. It's uh, microbit.co.uk and we'll click create code. And there are four ways to code this device. And this is what uh, was quite intriguing to me. We've got Code Kingdom's JavaScript, Microsoft Block Editor. Now that one looks really interesting because it's really designed for kids to understand. I'll have a quick look at that in a moment. Uh, this one, which is Microsoft Touch Develop. And you can also program in Python. But let's start with the Block Editor because this is a really unusual way to program. Right, this thing fills my computer screen and resizing it doesn't seem to uh, help. That just cuts things off the edges. So this is the block editor and uh, I'm not going to code. I'm just going to quickly go through a few things. Uh, basic things, show number. So that would be show a number on the LEDs on the micro bit over on the right there. Uh, loops, we can repeat something four times. Let's drag that one in. The LED, uh, we can plot on the LED matrix. X and Y positions, and these bits of code just click together like Lego bricks. It's great fun. Uh, what else can I do? Logic. Oh, that looks complicated. There's an if there. If something, do something. Where can I click that? I mean, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I will do a tutorial on programming using this block editor because it looks like great fun. It looks like the sort of thing my brain can handle. Now, just a quick look at what came with this BBC Microbit. Of course, there's the uh, the battery box there. There's a, a lead here, which looks like it's for audio. Looks like the uh, left and right audio are on the red uh, banana plug. Now, the banana plugs plug into these holes. These are four millimeter holes, so that's one way of getting connectivity. Uh, also, I've been sent some uh, crop clip leads, actually just two. Those can be clipped onto the edge connector, that's if the thing doesn't slip out of your hand, which, which it is. Oh, come on. Yes, that can be clicked onto the edge connector like that. I'm not sure whether you have to be careful not to bridge across to um, the connectors either side. I'm not sure what that would do in terms of uh, stressing the IO. You can also connect it through the hole like that, of course. Uh, there's also a piezo sounder here. I think that's for one of the projects in the coding tutorials book which is here that's something i'm gonna to have to look at and i'm not entirely sure what's on this usb stick guess i'll find out so that was my first look at uh, the bbc micro bit well now i need to uh, start coding so i'm gonna to have to wade through these coding tutorials don't steal my bbc micro bit that looks like it uses the uh, block editor and uh, making music with the bbc micro bit playing three blind mice. That seems to be some other form of programming. Looks like fun. Cheerio.